up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about 19 of the most popular ratcheting screwdrivers that I could find on Amazon. We're going to go through each one and tell you how much we spent, what they cost, and which one we think is the better deal. Um, obviously, you guys, you know, this is not some crazy torque test or anything like that. You know, we don't know the longevity of these screwdrivers. We're just going to go off of a basic feel, how we like them, how they feel in your hand, and do they function. And, you know, a lot of times you can just pick up a screwdriver and the ratcheting, you're like, oh my god, this thing's clunky and sucks. Mm -hmm. Or wow, this is nice and smooth. In or fact, some are really heavy, or some are very thick when you like the thinner handles or whatever. So yeah, one that one of these that came in just a bag. Eric's like, holy cow, this thing was expensive because you know what the bill man over here. The what? The bill man. No, I know, but usually well, you but see expensive stuff like when you see like nice marketing, you expect that to be more expensive. It specs would be nicer. It's all like just how it, it was just in a plastic like, bag, but it feels so. It's nice. a plastic bag like this. Then you take it out, you're like, wow, that is a nice feeling screwdriver. Yes, you know? so, and everybody wants a nice ratcheting screwdriver. I'm on the, the I, I'm looking for the very best one, and I think I found it, but we're gonna, obviously there's other brands out there. These are the most popular ones we found on Amazon. There will be Amazon links below, starting with. The Milwaukee, this comes in a two for one kit. Right, now how much was this? Was this? $60. So wow, this is an expensive, I think this was our most expensive. Yes, it was. I this was not. the most expensive, Milwaukee, lifetime warranty. 10 and 1. Um, good question. It's gotta be. I would have, I would so have to think $60. most hand tools are lifetime warranty. Right, now you guys, you can source this from the depot for possibly cheaper, right? Cut. Just because this is more of a Home Depot brand, you can find it on Amazon, but generally, you know, Home Depot does better pricing than Amazon on its home-only brands. Um, you guys, this screwdriver right here has a built-in wire stripper. Right here, you can adjust front, rear, or just make it solid. And the ratcheting action is pretty decent. It's got some nice weight up here. That's how you change your bits. You just basically... I always have to take this bit out, put it in here to push these ones out. Which I'd rather have it tighter than loose because those are always falling out. And then you just slide the bit in and go. Let me just check out comfort on that. I mean, yeah, it, it's nice and comfort. It is. Well. Yeah, it's funny for Eric. No, because I'm saying you want. I'd rather have it tighter than looser. Otherwise, it falls out. Okay. So oh. the sexual end of that. I was oh, thinking in my head. I didn't really want to get into it on camera, but. And the little one that comes with it is just a little pocket screwdriver. Granted, we also have the screwdriver later in the mix here we're going to talk about. So that feels pretty decent in the hand, eh? Yeah, yeah. All right, hey, cool. It's the Canadian version. Next. Mega Pro. Next, we have Mega Pro, you guys. Mega Pro, is, there's quite a few Mega Pros in here. And there's also some brands that renamed, rebranded Mega Pros. They're known in the industry for actually having really good ratcheting screwdrivers. And if you hear... It actually, it sounds pretty nice. What kind of price point are we running 27 with? Bucks. 27 bucks. 27 bucks. So still, I mean, that's, you know, really a good one should be around 20 bucks. I feel that's a good one, to, you know, for a good ratcheting screwdriver. That's what I would want to spend, right? Um, okay, so forward, reverse, and then all your bits are kept here. It just slides up. And how many bits are in this one, does it say? That one 21 has piece. 21s. So 21 piece, the, you know, nice big handle. Let's see how she turns. Wow, okay, so this definitely, I'm liking this a little bit better than Milwaukee. Feel how much more grip you have to turn stuff. This doesn't rash it? Oh, it does, yeah. You break it already? There you go. Yeah, yeah. But no, doesn't it have a lot more That's torque? That's smooth, it's very smooth. And I feel like the wow, handle's really giving like you that. more torque. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Than the Milwaukee. I, no, I agree. So, okay, 100%. so that's actually a pretty good one. So that's the Mega Pro. The next is what? The Vessel? Next one is, yes, the Vessel. Okay, the next one is the Vessel, you guys. This does have a very big handicap, being it's only, there is no exchangeable bit on it. It's just a Phillips bit, and that's it. So we just decided to check it out, see how cool it is. So we'll go on here. It's got a, a decent, you know, this is all Japanese too, I think. Yeah, the vessel's not bad. It doesn't have the grip that that has for torquing down, though. But, I mean, it does torque down. What do you think? It's got a decent grip. Whereas the good thing about the vessel is if you're just using Phillips bits, you can get into small areas there. Laptops, things like that. That's what that's good for. Yeah, I would think that that would be, like, I don't know, high torque with it being on the back. Yeah. I wouldn't think it's that's good. A, it's but pretty actually, decent. It's, I like that. Pretty decent. Next on the list, Enrique. Next on the list is the Werner. So, the Wera. Wera, Wera. You guys, the Wera, we actually bought the wrong Wera. Where's the other Wera? I think over there. 
Oh, okay, yeah. We actually bought the wrong one, the non-ratcheting one, but I had the ratcheting one on hand. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is one of the nicest here. How, what's the price point? 40 bucks. 40 bucks, so, but it feels nice here. Uh, exchangeable bit here, and all your bits are right here. Check this out. Boom. So the handle comes up and your bits are in there and you're able to switch directions right here. It just has a quality feel to me. And then let's just do some torque in. And actually I still feel I got better grip on that Mega Pro, man, but that thing's not bad. Here's another non-ratcheting version while Eric's playing with that, that, uh, you know, this bit that comes out and the exchangeable handle, same situation. Push that, and you got your bits. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. It's smooth and all that, but I agree with that one so far. Yeah, so far the Mega Pro's really been the best for gripping and turning but the screw. this has a nice feel. I mean, it yeah. like grips around your hand nice. I like it. That's the, cool. The Weera is my favorite. And in fact, going into this, before we even started, we both said the Weera is our number one favorite. Mm -hmm. Next is another Milwaukee. Uh, this Milwaukee is just a little less pricier. What's the price on this? This one's 20, $25. And basically the difference being is it doesn't have the wire stripper. Yes, it's exactly the same as this other one for 50 something with the little stubby. It's like no wire stripper. So a non-electrician will use this. Um, still that Mega Pro just yeah, has some kind of, yeah. One, yeah. Um, okay, next on the list, Eric. Next on the list is ba Baco. Baco. All right, this is one I found on there. What's the price on it? 33 bucks. 33 bucks. It was cool because it had an LED light, right? The LED light doesn't work. It probably needs a battery, but we had to get a screwdriver. We didn't have we a screwdriver. Screw yeah. so, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, so right away, I bought it for the LED light, but it's gimmicky. Uh, on the end here, you hit these two buttons, and you can eject this little clip out, which holds six bits. So put it back in. Let's see. Oh, wow. I mean, it feels plasticky. Oh. It's got some decent grip on it. Man, that, I gotta go back to that Mega Pro, sorry. Yeah, something about that Mega Pro, man. It's just torque. Actually, yeah, I like the feel of that one. Really? Yeah, I do. Oh, let's not put them out of order. I okay. like it more. I like this one. I actually like. Really? Yeah. It feels nice? It does. All right, so Eric likes that one. Put the ones I you like, like out in front. One, yeah. so. I mean, I like them all so far, but... Okay, next. I don't know, man. The Milwaukee for fifty dollars is not that's, a good yeah, one for me. Yeah, that's kind of. Next a, is the Southwire. South How much is the Southwire? That one is twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. So boom, right in that range of good price. It sounds good. Really resembles the Klein too. Yes. If you're familiar does with the Klein and you like the Klein, I think it does. Um, and this is a what and one. Nine and one. Nine and one. Meaning, I could pull this whole thing out, and these bits are interchangeable. These little bits come got out. Driver too. So yeah, good for electricians. They love this kind of stuff. So let's see. To me, the only downfall I would see on this is it's bulky, but. Okay, still not Mega Pro style, but pretty good, pretty good. I'd say that positive of that one is the price. I don't know, I just like this feeling where it's more to grip up here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you guys, uh, Southwire obviously is a sponsor of the channel. So, next. Next, is it Lutz? Lutz? Okay, the Lutz. How much is this one, Eric? $16. Okay, $16. Now, I can feel it feels cheap right off the bat, um, but it does no. have some innovative features. This is like from old schools right here. Drivers to change that. My oh, dad's yeah. old Phillips had that. It's like, remember those pens you had as a kid that would have like red, blue, yellow, yes. change the colors? Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the grip is eaten into my hand. Right here is a twist knob to open it up so you can slide out the bit you need. Um, how much was it? 16 bucks. So 16 bucks, not bad. I would say not bad, not great. Oh, no way. That grip's Yeah, horrible. there's no way, I wouldn't, pay, I wouldn't pay five bucks for that one. Okay, so Eric doesn't like that one, that grip's horrible. Next. Next, roll gear. Roll gear. Um, okay. So, what's so special about the roll gear, Eric? Hold on. You figure, you guys, after like 300 videos, we would have got this figured out by now, but it just doesn't stay on. We used to have a computer that made it stay on, but okay. This one's 30 bucks. Now, what roll gear's claim to fame is, is it silent, listen. 
There's no ratcheting whatsoever. So it's silent one way and then locks the other way. Um, typical design where the stuff goes in the handle there. I actually like this one a little better that I don't have to take this off and push. I can use my thumb to push both up, grab the one I need and go. Um, so let's give this one a shot. Roll gear is really high end. Uh, it's Canada. So. I think I'd almost want to hear the ratchet so I know which way I'm going, you know. You think? Okay, so that's where you tell you Lefty Lucy. I don't know, man. It's actually... I mean, it doesn't have that torque like the Mega Pro. Wow, that Mega Pro. And how much is the Mega Pro? I don't know. I think 30 bucks. I kind of like how your thumb fits nicely in here. I still, yeah, this right up top, these bits, though, I don't like how they... Stick out? Yeah. You could push them in. Yeah, but I think it's just going to be more of a pain because you're always going to kind of have them sticking out once you switch bits. It is quiet. Let's yeah, play. and I think that quietness, listen to that. I mean, that quietness is electricians on that final step, trim plate. Shh, shh, shh. That's where you're going to see, but we're saving the fastest one for last. What's next? Ideal. The ideal, this you guys. This is a nine and one. So this, and this is nine one and runs one. 20 bucks. It actually reminds me of the Southwire, but cheaper quality. But it, it's actually, uh, yeah, it reminds me of the Southwire. Just really? Cheaper. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the Southwire you pick up, it's quality. Like, listen. Hear that? Hold on. I mean, this is a little louder, but it just feels smoother than... And I know this is wrong, but I, like, I hear something a little bit loud. It sounds like it would have bigger gears in there, maybe. More robust, but... But actually, it's got some nice grip. Uh, the plus about this too, you guys, electrical cap on the end. So if you are, um, you want to twist the electrical cap, this will twist it for you tight. And this should pull out, right, Eric? Um, no, I don't oh, think that one that does. Oh, ratchet. Wow, that's crazy, you guys. So you put an electrical cap on the end, you put your wires there, and you put this on, and you can that's and tighten cool. up. Yeah, that's cool. That's Yeah, that's actually a cool feature. That feels pretty good. I like that one. Yeah, it doesn't feel bad. Next is going to be interesting. Is the next channel lock? Next one is channel lock. This price is going to be thirty-one bucks. Thirty-one bucks. So, what was the Mega Pro at? That was the Mega Pro. Because it's the exact same thing as the Mega Pro, you guys. There's hardly, there's no change whatsoever. Just changing color. Twenty-six sixty-nine. So, so twenty-seven bucks. Thirty. 30. So you're spending 31. more just for the channel lock name. So let it's exactly the same as the Mega Pro, you know, it just feels decent. It's got this up in here, but will it have that torque like the Mega Pro? Um It has to. It's the exact same one here. Totally oh. So if you can see. Yeah, they're identical except for the color. Yeah, let me just try why. I feel like I still feel like this one's just better. I mean, look how easy I'm doing this. Let me see, swap. What the heck? This one's a little finicky on the, uh... no, it's the same, yeah. It's the same. But I'm noticing, these are a little finicky on the gear switching there. Did you see that? Wasn't just a quick uh, go through. All right, next on the list. Next, Work Pro. It's a 12 in one. This one is $18. This is the heaviest one out of the bunch. Yes. This one feels the most heavy duty, the nicest, and it really has a nice yes, ratcheting to it. Yeah. Um, let's just, so let's try it. Oh man, dude, this thing is nice. Okay, so Milwaukee style, the way it's got the uh, bits in there, okay, but these ones you can easily push out. They don't grip as tight as the ones that Eric did. That's a nice screwdriver. Oh yeah, you're right, I do like that. Yeah, so that's a switch? nice screwdriver right, right there. That's a nice screwdriver, right? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you want that weight, you want that heavy duty, you want that quality. You know, it just feels that much better. But wow, very impressive with the work, uh, work pro. 
Let's Next, see. we got the Stanley Stubby. That one is $10. 22 cents. Okay, you guys, I mean, this is just the epitome. Not the epitome, but this is your. This is the cheap screwdriver. It is. It you is. know, this is just dirt cheap, bargain bin. Um, has a little rubber overmold on it. You can put your bits in the cap. Has a few bits to it. But the ratcheting is just, you know. If I was going with a Stubby screwdriver, I like the Klein one the best. I mean, we don't have that one oh, here. Okay. But I like that one. Yeah, but I mean, seriously, I would like, this would be comparable to Pittsburgh at Harbor Freight, something like that. Pittsburgh might have one up on it. Yeah, and I, I honestly, I don't like it. I mean, granted, it's a stubby I'm doing this here, but what do you no, think? No, I've tried it out. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. Sorry, Stanley. Next is an ideal. It's a 21 and one. Okay, so it's just like the other ideal we had, except for it's What's the difference? 21 to 1. It does, it does feel thicker. It's so then this head. one actually twists off, I believe. Yeah, pull, there you go. Yeah, so it's got the bits in there. Okay, so with the other one, you were able to ratchet that electrical connector on. This just holds your bits. You're still able to grip an electrical connector and turn. Um, all right, let's try it. Yeah, this one feels pretty cheesy inside. But it's got... It's pretty good, but it's got, it feels cheesy inside. That's not bad. Again, I just like how it's round here and how it's, how it's much got, is, it's not completely round. It's round up top, but not here, so I can put my thumb on there. It's got a nice feel. How much? It. That one is 20 bucks. Oh, and then $19. Okay, next, this, we got the Williams. This is the one we originally talked about with the packaging. It just came like that. This yes. one is $36. $36, it just came in white packaging. Actually, looking at it, it looks pretty cheap, but it really, really reminds me of Snap-on Blue Point. But it, it feels a lot cheaper now that I got it in my hand, but let's see. Yeah, this one's, it's pretty nice. It's got a really nice ratcheting system to it. Um, basically, your bits go in the head right here, you guys. It just pops out, and you just pour them in there. This really, really reminds me of a Snap-on. What do you think? It's got some weight to it like that. Yeah, I don't know about 36 bucks. And again, I'm wondering if it's just me going back to the packaging and I'm one of those suckers, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, I, I, I nice like though. it. I like how it's rounded around your hand. Again, I like how you can wipe your finger and your thumb on it. Or but 30 nice bucks feel. and we can go back to 20. Which one was 20? You're right. I really like. You're the right. Work Pro. Yeah, I mean, honestly, right. the Work Pro for 14, was the Work Pro 14? That work pro? Yeah. Oh man, that's a good question. That one was, yeah, 18 bucks. 18 bucks versus 34. This work pro, man. I mean, something's not right here. This work pro is just definitely uh, worth more money, yeah. I think. Okay, uh, next would be the uh, Klein. Klein. All right, so Klein, you guys, Klein is known for what? Electrician tools. Quality electrician you know? school tools. I mean, they're, they're, uh, hand tools are where it's at. So we have a client style head on this. Basically, is this the one that you... Wait, how many... Okay, so it's just a multi-bit with a nut driver. Six universal tips. This, the whole shaft doesn't come out? Oh, it does. Whew. Okay, so the whole, whole shaft comes out, you guys, and then obviously it's like those 11 in ones. Um, ratcheting's okay. Let's try it here. Okay, so you're able to torque down. It's got some good torque. I like Klein's grip. Yeah, it does a good job. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I just like that. That's just nice. The Southwire ratcheting feels nicer. But I feel like that grip feels nicer. I just feel like nicer. this is very smooth. Yeah, I like this grip better, but I like the Southwire ratcheting. Okay, next is what? The Tactics? Tactics, yes. This one is $18.50. All right, $18.50, you guys. Here's Tactics. Looks like a homeowner brand. A couple features that it does. The head pops out so you can have access to some extra bits. It's just your general screwdriver. I don't know if I like this one too much. It's actually got some decent torque, though. It'll take them down. And what I'm doing here, you guys, is I'm just rotating, just feeling how it feels in my hand, just seeing, you know, I mean, this is going through fresh wood here, you know? We just pre-started these, uh, holes. Oh, oh, fresh wood, I thought you meant like we just got this piece of wood. 
No, well, yeah, Eric just got it down from the tree. Just cut the tree down and actually, uh... What do you think of it? It's okay! Oh, shit, no, it's not, not bad. Would you rather have, like, if you notice, like, some of them are so different, like, would you rather have, like, the longer? Yeah, the, and that's the thing, you guys. You know. Is this work for you? It's just the different applications. Um, no, it's not too we're bad. just walking through today all these different video things. We're gonna put it there. We're gonna shoot another video on the top three, the ones that we're highly gonna recommend. Next is the Irwin. This is an eight and one, and this one retails for fourteen bucks. Okay, so I'm seeing a really big trend here of the Irwin, the Ideal, the Kleins, and the Southwire, all generally. They've got the thicker handle. It's kind of yeah, the same and they all handle. generally feel the same. Like I, I almost feel like they're made by the same manufacturer, kind of. I don't know, but they all have the general same feel. Now the Irwin has well, how much is the Irwin, Eric? Fourteen bucks. Okay, wow, well, not bad considering it comes with these cool Irwin bits. Mm -hmm. You know, um, wow, did you see how it just went yeah. in there? It just like dropped in there. It's like magnetic. wow, it's magnetic. It's magnetic. That's crazy. All right, so let's take one down here. Okay, not bad. How many times am I gonna say it? <laughs> it is crazy how they hide all this stuff in screwdrivers. Um, not bad, but it doesn't. To me, it doesn't have torque. That's the wrong. Is it the bit. wrong bit? Unfortunately, that's the wrong bit. No, that's the wrong bit. What do you think of it? bad i mean it's not bad it's, it's really got some bad. specialness to it but it's not popping out at me like wow but the price is 13.90 yeah, yes i'd the recommend it the, the okay next should be the original mega pro the original mega pro there you go how much twenty dollars twenty dollars so remember you guys this is what i talked about that sweet spot is that twenty dollar price range right yeah we want to be in that twenty dollar because that's really what you want to spend on one of these you know it shouldn't be more than that that's a great value price um just like the other mega pros looks exactly the same except for it does not have rubber over mold grip on it so you pull up the top there's our access to all your bit system um and actually you know what eric this isn't a ratchet it's not at all no so we're just gonna take that one out of the mix. Okay, I see, yeah. It was late when I was ordering all these, you guys. But so $20 for a non-ratchet is pretty, wow, it sucks being non-ratchet. All right, next on the list. Lowe's Cobalt. The Cobalt, you guys, this is the fastest one out of all of them. Why? And this one is $40, that's pricey. Yes, $40, but it's the double drive system. Now, granted, I feel like the double drive used to feel a lot smoother than this but basically with the double drive i'm getting six times speed so all i have to do is rock left and right and i'm still maintaining that forward motion i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it here yeah no but i can use my torque and then when i want to go to the double drive pull it out oh, maybe not. yeah but man it's you definitely can't do any torque. This is, yeah, you can't do any torque like that. Hold on. So really, you're seeing no advantages of the double drive on um, torqued in screws. You're seeing the advantage of the double drive on uh, speed. Yeah, on speed on light stuff where you got no resistance. But dude, that thing. TV kinda, went off again. I, something might be wrong with that thing. You think? You hold that center. No, I know, but help. Just pull and push. Oh, I got you. So obviously Cobalt, Lowe's, you guys, you can't get it at Lowe's. We just happened to find this one on Amazon for 40 bucks. Now, before you run out and say, hey, I'm getting a double drive from Amazon, check Lowe's. Because you can find these things a lot less expensive at Lowe's, in store, on sale, especially around uh, Christmas time, Christmas time, time stuff like that. Um, so that's it you guys uh do you want to talk about what you like or is that a totally separate video totally separate go? video all right guys so this is just a complete overview so you can see what do we have there how many can't count 19 19 different well actually 18 different ratcheting uh screwdrivers yes so we're gonna follow it up in an another video of which ones we like the best but that's it you guys comment below i want to know what you guys this is like an experiment let's hear it from you guys which one do you guys have which one do you guys like what's working for you right um because you know, I'm gonna, Do you even like ratcheting screwdrivers? For me, I'm not a huge ratcheting guy. 
You know what? I am for co working on vehicles, man, when you got to go mm -hmm. in and like take out a fuse box or something. It's just so easy. Shh, 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 shh. You know, to me. Granted, you don't need it on every application. So comment below, you guys. Hashtag TI Crew wherever you go. And let's uh, get the story rolling. Tools in action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.